it, it looked like during the game, uh, maybe especially after some of the stuff with the two quarterbacks going out with injuries, it got kind of testy there. Would you say the, the on-field emotions were maybe more intense than in some of the previous Texas Tech matchups? Uh, yeah. Um, you know, just with them coming on the second half, kind of just speeding things up a lot as it did, it kind of just – I say it got us flustered just a tad bit, just we're trying to get our fits right and just different things. But, you know, ultimately the coaches did a good job of getting us back to the sideline, being like, hey, just calm down, you know, just read your keys, do what you got to do, and everything will be all right. So, um, yeah, that's that's how I think about that. How how big was it for, you know, you guys to get another interception? Because I'm sure you guys are well aware it's three straight games. Like every game of the season, you guys have gotten at least one interception. Uh, yeah, it's a good it's a good stat, you know, um, as a defense. I hope we keep it up. But, you know, just going in every week, each player, you know, they watch film, be detailed on everything they do. So, so, you know, with us coming up with those picks, I'm glad it shows me that everybody's watching, you know what I'm saying, film, reading into their keys and all they're supposed to be doing. So, and it was J-Mac again, you know. So, <laughs> got to be happy for that. Got to get the one last week to end the game off and then get this one to kind of turn everything back around and end the game for us. So. <laughs> hey, Elijah, uh, what are your thoughts on just this freshman class and what they've done so far? Oh, man, the freshman class has been huge, you know, from Mosey to the Deuce to Will Howard stepping up today to TJ Smith doing his thing today. He, he did. Um, you know, it just, just shows the two testament to our team. You know, we had that next man up mentality, no matter if you're on offense, defense, and special teams, you know. Um, when you come in, you got to do your job and just do it to your best of ability. And I think all the new guys, the new freshmen that are coming in, they stepped up and showed their role really well. So um, I'm proud of each and every one of them. You know, like I said, the guys that I called out just right now and then the, probably the few that I missed, you know, I'm just proud of them all to just come in and do their thing and, and show their talents. So uh, you guys had to go through uh, several reviews there in the second half on possible targeting. <laughs> Did the coaches yeah. have to say, you know, I don't know, adjust your tackling just a little bit here so we quit that? Uh, I mean, with mine, yeah, I was a little high on that. But, you know, they weren't kind of worried about it. I was worried about the next play up, next man mentality. You know, just say, you know, keep your emotions down on. Don't get flustered at the call, even if it is one. Just take it like a champ and just go ahead and go into the locker room. But luckily, it didn't get called, even TJ's, you know, too. But, um, yeah, I will say we, we got to lower our hit, our – Target that we, you know, what I'm saying hitting, but um, hey, just just got to do better next week with all that. So, Fitz, uh, Eli, is it almost impossible for a defender not to find himself in a position like that when you're trying to hit hard and the target the receiver's going down and you're closing in? It's just really difficult, isn't it? Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, just trying to ask the defensive player to kind of slow down, change his hit angle as you're going, however fast you're going, you know, it's, you got that split second to either let, let him just do what he does and fall down or even if you might not fall down. See, and that's the thing between the two. You never know if he's ever going to fall down and, you know what I'm saying, or keep his feet up and keep going. So it's just that hard, you know what I'm saying, split second that you got to make a decision. So uh, just just got to be better, like I said, with that as well. So. And what did Tech do to you in the second half that uh, the defense gave you so much trouble? Uh, you know, I feel like they went in second half, switched up a couple of different looks, and then, you know, with their speed, they once they got a play going, they just kept going, kept going, kept going. And I feel like that was just the biggest testament to our team that we got to – well, our defensive team that we got to, you know what I'm saying, do better on is when team speeds it up, we just got to be locked in and glued into our keys and what run gap we got. and be able to play off or however they, you know what I'm saying, come out and whatever speed they play on, so. And you're kind of the old man of the press room today. You <laughs> three freshmen yes, have been in. Um, as a team leader, what do you say to these guys now? You're two and one, you're two and oh in the Big 12. You got a couple nice victories. What's your message to this this younger bunch? Uh, you know, stay consistent. You know, whatever you was doing from the Oklahoma week to now, just keep doing it, whether it was watching film, um, taking an extra couple of reps at the practice, doing different things, you know, just just keep on pushing, keep on doing what you're doing. Don't lack or fall off in everything, any of your preparation that you were doing, you know. And I feel like the freshmen that we had in and even the guys on other other guys on the team that played, I feel like we did good from Oklahoma week to this week to continue what, continue that and stay up with our kids and keep pre preparing like it's like we're one and oh, oh and oh, you know, so.
<clears throat> Good, thank you. Yes, sir. Last one here, Ryan Black. Hey, Eli, uh, their, their starting quarterback basically went out after eight offensive plays. So I'm just curious, how, uh, how much film had you even seen of their backup? Had you guys seen anything of him at all? Uh, I'm not even gonna lie to you. It's very. Well, I don't minimal. want you. To, I don't want you to lie. I want you to tell me what what you. <laughs> nah, it was it was very minimal though. I haven't seen too many plays for him, but for him to come out and play like he did, he did really well. I will get that to him. So hats off to him. But you know, um, as a defense, we still got to do our thing, read our keys, do what we do, whether they have their first string in or whoever they have in. You know, we still got to do our job and get it done. But yeah, hats off to him. He came in and performed well for them. So. How difficult is that for defense when you've basically seen all the film on the starter and then a backup comes in, you've never seen him? How difficult is that in-game to make those adjustments? Uh, like you said, it's in-game adjustments. You just got to play off and just kind of play up to his tendencies. You know, even though he's a new quarterback, he got different things. It's still just kind of the same play calls, but the different looks as far as if he looks off or if he – um looks dead at his receiver that's another thing as well too so it's just those in-game adjustments that you got to be ready for coming from the coaches in the top of the box so